you're enjoying a quiet swim in a peaceful lake. When a massive fin breaks the surface, it's not a dolphin, it's not a fish. It's a shark in your local river. What just happened? What if sharks took over our freshwater? Most sharks can't survive in freshwater because their bodies are built for salty oceans. But there's a catch some species, like bull sharks, can. In fact, bull sharks have been found in rivers over 1,000 miles inland. Their kidneys adjust to the change in salinity, allowing them to live in both salt and fresh water. Now imagine if more shark species evolved this ability or were introduced unnaturally. How would that change life as we know it? Freshwater ecosystems aren't built for apex predators like great whites or tiger sharks. Introducing sharks would disrupt the entire food chain. Fish populations could plummet, local predators like otters and alligators could be pushed out, and biodiversity would collapse. Some species might go extinct, others might evolve defences. But one thing's for sure, the balance would be broken. Now let's talk about us. Fishing industries, ruined, swimming holes, closed, riverfront real estate, value drops overnight, governments might start shark control programs, sonar nets, or even high-tech surveillance drones, lifeguards at lakes, shark sirens at rivers, it could all become normal. Meanwhile, thrill-seekers would probably chase the adrenaline freshwater shark diving could become a new extreme sport. You're probably thinking, OK, cool idea, but could it actually happen? Well, with climate change altering ocean salinity and water temperatures, and with bull sharks already showing adaptability, it's not impossible. Scientists are also experimenting with gene editing and species migration. So whether by nature or by accident, it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. One leak, one wrong experiment, one species evolution, and the rivers might not be safe again. So, what if sharks invaded rivers and lakes? We'd be forced to rethink how we live, swim, fish, and even vacation. The water would never feel safe again, because when the ocean's most feared predator comes inland, nowhere is off-limits.